Hi everyone, our subject today is agitation in pediatrics. Basics, agitation is a restlessness, increased tension and or irritability that can be present with a psychomotor disturbance ranging from twitching or pacing to a violent behavior with or without altered level of awareness. It may occur in patients with an intoxication, a psychiatric condition or from an organic cause or in cases with developmental delayed, minimally verbal children as manifestation of pain, anxiety or other stressor. Delirium is broadly defined as acute fluctuating global cerebral dysfunction due to a medical condition. Mania is an abnormally elevated arousal effect and energy level. Differentiation between organic and psychiatric features. Uh, organic psychosis acute while psychiatric gradual. Pathognomonic autonomic signs may be present while it is absent in uh, psychiatric. Vital sign may be normal. Which, uh, but it is normal in psychiatric. Orientation impaired in organic causes, but intact in psychiatric. Recent memory impaired in organic psychosis while it is intact in psychiatric. Intellectual disability may be impaired in organic, uh, but it is intact in psychosis. Hallucination visual in organic uh, psychosis while it is auditory in psychiatric psychosis. History, chronological recounting of symptom, acute, chronic, and if recurrent, underlying condition, developmental delay, autism, psychiatric condition, diabetes, systemic lupus erythematosus, possible ingestion or environmental exposure, current medication, recent illness, streptococcal infection might suggest Sydenham chorea or PANDAS, pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorder, associated with streptococcal infection. Sinusitis might raise concern for intracranial extension, infection. Viral symptom might suggest Adam or viral encephalitis, meningitis. Systemic symptom, arthritis, fever, respiratory distress, rash, vomiting. Neurological symptoms, gait change, headache, level of consciousness, weakness, family history of allergies. Physical examination, during the initial evaluation, make sure to assess if the patient is a, a threat or uh, to himself or others. Vital sign, tachypnea is likely to be present in agitated state, but frank respiratory distress and or hypoxia suggest an underlying cardiac or respiratory etiology. Tachycardia is a common in agitated patient, but may be seen with the toxidrome or physical illness. Uh, Tachy dysarrhythmia may cause agitation in a pre-verbal or developmentally delayed child. Fever, hyperthermia, febrile, delirium, infectious cause, autoimmune process, toxicological exposure, ingestion. Hypertension is common in agitated patient. However, it can also caused by pain, toxic exposure, ingestion or increased intracranial pressure. Neurological examination, important elements include pupil size and reactivity, neurological abnormality, knuckle rigidity, cognitive function, reflexes. Look for sign of physical injury, trauma, especially and to the head. If possible, perform ophthalmologic and fundoscopic exam to assess vision and check for intra increased intracranial pressure. Through cardiac, respiratory, abdominal, and skin exam to look for sign of systemic illness or toxidrome. Agitated children with developmental delay or who are nonverbal need an especially detailed physical exam, including extremities for fracture, hair tourniquet, ear or dental infection, abdomen infection, constipation, and genitalia, hernia, or torsion. Diagnostic test and interpretation, a specific lab test selected based on history and presentation. Serum glucose generally indicated in any patient with agitation, a blood ethanol level, 
serum electrolyte liver function test and ammonia level if any indication for hepatic disease streptococcal assay rabbit group a streptococcal antigen throat culture antistreptomycin o titer carboxyhemoglobin level thyroid study tsh t4 lumbar puncture if febrile and suspicion for encephalitis meningitis CSF bacterial culture, lime titer, and viral uh, PCR culture for uh, potential causes of viral meningoencephalitis. If performing a lumbar puncture, consider consulting a neurologist regarding specific tests to send from spinal fluid. Consider ECG for tachyarrhythmias indicated for toxic uh, ingestion. Imaging, consider urgent brain CT if uh, concerned about increased intracranial uh, pressure or uh, intracranial mass, hemorrhage or injury. Consider ordering brain MRI if brain lesion or autoimmune process is suspected. Nonverbal delayed children may need additional imaging to evaluate for painful or infectious condition. Medical condition that may lead to agitation and delirium Central nervous system lesion, tumor, brain abscess, cerebral hemorrhage, meningitis or encephalitis, temporal loop epilepsy, closed head trauma, cerebral hypoxia like pulmonary insufficiency, severe anemia, cardiac failure, carbon monoxide poisoning, metabolic and endocrine disorder, electrolyte imbalance, hypoglycemia, hypocalcemia, thyroid disease, hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism, Adrenal disease, uremia, hepatic failure, diabetes mellitus, porphyria, Ray syndrome, Wilson disease, collagen vascular disease like systemic lupus erythematosus or polyarthritis nodosa, infection, malaria, typhoid fever, subacute bacterial endocarditis, HIV infection, severe pain, substance abuse intoxication overdose like alcohol marijuana uh, synthetic cannabinoids nicotine intoxication viping cocaine opioid like heroin methadone amphetamine uh, like uh, mdma uh, attention deficit hyperactive uh, disorder medication ecstasy hallucinogen like lsd misakalic steroid adverse effect uh, therapeutic effect Phenicyclidine, barbiturate, methaquilinol, anticholinergic compound, antipsychotic like phenothiazine, withdrawal like alcohol, barbiturate, benzodiazepine, and other sedative hypnotic agent. Deficiencies like vitamin B12, B1 thiamine, B3 niacin, or folate, heavy metal like lead, mercury, manganese stroke, arrhythmia, shock, hypertensive encephalopathy, psychiatric disorder like acute psychosis in patients with schizophrenia, delusional disorder or antisocial, paranoid or borderline personality disorder, attention deficit hyperactive disorder, autism, conduct disorder or reaction to an acute stressor, manic episode with the bipolar disorder, night terrors, post-traumatic stress disorder, severe anxiety, severe depression, particularly if actively suicidal. Mnemonic for mania, distractibility, in uh, discreation, grandiosity, flight of idea, activity increased, sleep deficit, talkativeness. Admission criteria, Significant vital sign abnormality, respiratory distress, risk of harm to self or other, inability to, of caretaker to care of the patient, impaired in neurological state, need for further diagnostic or therapeutic procedures, criteria care admission, need for ventilatory support because of inability to control airway or need for significant sedation, Deteriorating neurological status, risk of cardiovascular depression or dysrhythmia from an ingestion. Pierce and Bitfall. 
Agitated behavior can be caused by a large number of organic and psychiatric etiologies. A detailed history and physical exam is essential to limit the differential diagnosis and to direct evaluation and treatment. A developmentally delayed child with agitation need a broad uh, consideration of medical etiologies that may be causing distress prior to diagnosing a primary behavioral or psychiatric condition. All patients with the acute agitation should be under close supervision, particularly those who have been chemically or physically restrained. Thank you for your listening.